Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Modern Warfare, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the Kilo 141. So, this is the first assault rifle that you get in the game. Uh, and to be quite honest, it's pretty trash until you unlock attachments for it, like most of the guns in this game. Uh, but with this class setup, you guys should be set up for a complete and utter destruction once you get some good attachments on here. This thing is amazing. So, uh, as you guys can see in the bottom left corner, you can see our stats after all the attachments are added. We've buffed our accuracy significantly, our range very much so as well. Uh, our damage is way up and our control is way up. The only thing we're sacrificing is a little bit of mobility, which isn't too big of a deal. I don't consider this one of the assault rifles that you really can play super aggressive with. You can do well from up close with this thing, but but uh, it's already got decent mobility, so losing a little bit of that uh, to be able to get more accuracy, more range, and of course more damage uh, is definitely worth it. So uh, the first attachment we're going to be running, obviously we're not using a muzzle, but we're going to be using the barrel. We're going to use the Syngard Arms 19.8 Prowler. Uh, what you're going to get with this is damage range, bullet, velo bullet velocity, and recoil control. Uh, if you look at the stats on this attachment, you'll see this is what's knocking down our, mo our mobility and obviously giving us significant range, accuracy, and control. Compared to the other attachments in this tier, you'll see that it is definitely the best one to choose from. But again, the Syngard arms 19.8 prowler barrel we're not going to be running a laser as most of you guys know i hate running laser because it gives away your position so definitely not going to be running that uh, reflex wise we're going to be using the solo zero optics mini reflex this can, can kind of go however you want to um, depending on what type of reflex you like again just make sure that you're looking at the stats and you're not sacrificing too much um, again if you're using something like a sniper scope uh, your range is going to go way up, but using a sniper scope on AR is pretty difficult. So we're going to stick to the uh, the solo zero here, uh, obviously buffing our, our accuracy uh, a decent amount. We're not going to be using a stock. Our under barrel, we're going to be using the Ranger foregrip, which is actually a little bit different than what I'm used to doing with my gun videos. Generally, I'll run commando foregrip, but as you guys can see on the stats, it actually doesn't give you anything. So uh, using that Ranger foregrip is going to buff your accuracy, your range, and your control, sacrificing just a little bit of mobility. So definitely running the Ranger foregrip. Uh, we're not running any extra ammunition. We don't really need it. This gun's got plenty of, uh, of bullets to, to do the job. Um, rear grip, we're going to be using stipled grip tape. If you guys take a look at this, essentially what this is for is to buff our mobility just a little bit so that we don't sacrifice too much. Obviously, with all our other attachments, we are kind of getting rid of a little bit of our mobility. So being able to bump that back up a little bit is going to be useful. Uh, and then last but not least, the perk that we're running is FMJ. So obviously, that'll allow you to shoot through walls. It doesn't sacrifice anything else and uh, a really good attachment to use on an assault rifle. For the rest of the class setup, it really doesn't matter too much. Um, I like running the, the Desert Eagle. You can run a shotgun on this thing if you want to run uh, Overkill, um, but I think that a Desert, a desert Eagle will suffice. Um, Perk-wise, we're running EOD. Um, obviously, I like to play really, really aggressive, and I'm playing game modes like uh, Headquarters and Domination, so being able to reduce the damage from you know grenades is very, very useful. But again, if you want, you can run Overkill. That way, you can run that shotgun. Uh, obviously I'm running ghost you guys know the drill always run ghost that way I can stay off the radar I can flank get behind the enemies play really aggressive not have to worry about them always knowing where I'm at and then the third perk it really doesn't matter too much there's a couple different options first one is is battle hardened which I like running on most of my classes reduce strength of enemy flash however uh, I, I we're probably not going to be extremely aggressive with this weapon so you can run something else like uh, like shrapnel where you can spawn with an extra piece of lethal equipment which I like using sometimes to have double grenades um, or really anything else you can use amped faster weapon swap and rocket launcher reload speed so if you want to be able to switch to a secondary if you don't feel comfortable enough with this gun to be able to take them out with the actual gun itself you can run amp so that you can whip out that desert eagle or sidearm really really quick and, uh, and get those kills but uh, I'm running dead silence as my field loadout I always run dead silence I love it so much it's very very useful you can move quicker and obviously be quiet for a decent amount of time um, but that is the class setup uh, frag flash grenade I always run those I feel like it's not necessary to bring it up in my video because I bring this up in every AR video um, but frag grenades and, and flash grenades are definitely the best way to go especially with this gun but uh, if you guys have any questions about this class setup or anything else to add make sure to leave it down in the comment section below I hope you guys did enjoy it make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see all you guys in the next video